At the start of the decade, Ford leapfrogged over all other brands in the country and had the best-selling 4x4 pickup truck. Well, the truck that changed the game in so many ways is back and is poised to raise the bar once again, this time as the next generation Ranger. Now we're here at the front of the next gen Ranger and as you can see we have a highly redesigned nose with new signature elements that include this H bracket and C clamp headlights. Now this is the Wild Track 2 liter 4x4 which is a top of the line model. It has matrix LED headlights with adaptive front lighting, adaptive glare free system and auto on off feature. Uh, other two lower variants, which is the Wild Track 4x2 and Ranger Sport, only use plain LED headlights with auto on off feature. It is longer by 16 millimeters, wider by 58 millimeters, and taller by 63 millimeters. The larger body allowed engineers to extend the wheelbase and track by 50 millimeters for more space and better stability. The front wheels were moved 50 millimeters forward to create a better approach angle and to reduce front overhang. The rear suspension dampers are shifted outboard of the frame rails to give the occupants a better ride on and off-road. All new variants of the next-gen Ranger will have a new taillight design, this floating rail, and a styling bar over the longer and wider bed. Now, if you look at the top of the tailgate, it has clamp pockets so you can measure and cut things securely on top of the tailgate. Now you look here, you have six multiple tie-down points. We'll show you where they are in just a little bit. But if you look at the bed, it's more spacious now. It measures 55 by 55. So you can put in pallets measuring 1,200 by 800 millimeters, fit it in nicely over there. If you're thinking, it's got a pretty high ground clearance, could be tough to get up on the bed. Not so, because you have a rear box step right over here. Makes the bed easy access, all right? On the bed of the Wild Tracks are a 12 volt and 230 volt sockets and a tailgate lift assist system. Hi there! Each next gen Ranger comes with a smart key, and all buyers will love that because that means easier ingress, right? When you get inside, first thing you'll notice these slimmer power adjustable leather seats that come with. A little bit more bolstering, give a snug fit. The Ranger Sport is only manually adjustable, so you gotta know that. Since we're in a wild track, as you can see, we've got the orange wild track stitching on various surfaces here. And speaking of surfaces, soft touch uh, padded areas on the dashboard, and door panels, and even the center console. Um, obviously, the leather steering wheel, multi function buttons as well. If you look at the cockpit, you've got a linear coast-to-coast -coast flat design for better visibility. And a couple new features you love here, aside from the tech, you've got uh, storage space here. And on either side, on both ends of the dashboard, you've got pop-out cup holders. The interior's best feature will undoubtedly be the two new screens. One is the 8-inch LCD digital instrument cluster with customizable color displays. Now that replaces the old 4.2-inch screen. Now the other is the tablet-like 10.1-inch or 12-inch touchscreen, depending on the variant, with wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, USB Type-A and C connectivity, and Ford's latest in-vehicle comm software Sync 4A. Now, aside from the infotainment system, it also controls the climate control system, several safety features, and the truck's differential lock. The Wild Tracks have four USB ports, two in the front, two in the second row, while the Ranger Sport only has two USB ports. Now, the Wild Track 4x2 uses the 2 liter single turbo engine that puts out 170 PS and 405 Newton meters of torque that's mated to a six speed automatic transmission. The Wild Track 4x4, that's the one with a 2 liter bi turbo engine putting out 210 PS and 500 Newton meters of torque paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, the Wild Track 4x4 and the Ranger Sport 4x4 are the only ones with an electronic locking rear differential. These safety systems come standard across all next gen Rangers. Pay attention, you've got an anti lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution an electronic stability program with a traction control system, hill launch assist, rollover mitigation, hill descent control, a perimeter alarm system, 
cruise control, an adjustable speed limiter, and a rear view camera. The Wildtrak 4x2 six-speed automatic gets an extra electric parking brake with rear parking sensors, but the top of the line Wildtrak 4x4 10-speed automatic gets the works. It has adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering, auto high beam headlights, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, dynamic brake support, distance alert and distance indication, lane keeping aid, lane departure warning, post impact braking, reverse brake assist, and a 360 degree camera. But you'll be happy to know that all Rangers come with an 800 millimeter water wading depth. To sum it up, the next gen Ranger has five great points. Number one, it's got a body that's both modern and functional, a bed with tools to make work easier, a cabin with equipment that'll make sedans and SUVs envious, a robust performance that Ford is known for, and of course, number five, an amazing array of technology for a pickup truck. Now we're here in beautiful Driftwoods Action Park in Mendez Cavite, but we weren't allowed to put this baby through its paces so we don't have performance information just yet. That being said, that's a wrap for us here. She is beauty, brains, and brawn all rolled into one. And like all women who have it all, they don't stay available in the market for far too long. So if you want one, make a commitment now. Speak to our friends at Ford before it's too late. I'm Eric Tipan from AutoIndustria.com.